Let's look at an example of a diagnosis question in search. Our PICO question is, are there any evidence-based articles on the differential diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease? We would start by using the MeSH database to explore terms. Once we have some ideas for terms, we move into PubMed. Now that I'm in PubMed, I'm actually going to use the Advanced Search screen. So I am going to click on Advanced here under the search box, and I'm going to enter the first MeSH term that I found, which is Alzheimer's disease. I'm going to use my drop-down box and select MeSH Major Topic. That is because I want all of these articles to be focused on Alzheimer's disease. I'm going to add that to my query box, and I'm going to search. I retrieved over 80,000 results, so let's go back to Advanced and add some more terms. Next, another term that I found was sensitivity and specificity. Check my spelling, and this time I'm just going to add that to the search box and search again. Again, very large retrieval set, so let's add some more terms. The final term that I'd like to add is diagnosis differential. And again, I will leave this as all terms and add it. We see it show up in our query box, click on search, and again, a very large search set. Go back to advanced, and now I want to go down here to my details and see what PubMed has actually done. So it is finding the MeSH term and it's searching for differential and diagnosis in all fields. And it should have done the same thing, which it did for sensitivity and specificity. However, for Alzheimer's disease, because I told it I wanted only items that were MeSH major topics, it is only searching for those words where they have been assigned as a MeSH major topic. If I do an action, I'm going to add that to the query box, and you can see it shows up up here. Next, I will add this term with AND because I want them both present in my search results. And again, adding with AND, and now you can see in my query box that I have all three terms combined with AND so that they all show up in my search results. And I'm going to click on the search button. Now I have just 674 results, but that's still quite a few to be scanning through. So I'm going to add a filter, which are listed over here on the left. And the one that I want is showing up. So it is clinical trial. You can see it's been displayed here and been applied, and it has brought my results down to 50. And this seems like a manageable number. Thank you, and good luck with your own searching.